Hello and welcome, Scorpios, to your January 2022 general reading. You're watching Energy and Star Sign readings with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now what we do here is today we're going to separate the area or the video, um, the reading in different sections. Um, namely, we will look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Scorpio before we then go into the area of your emotional core, which means anything you feel and everything you feel. This could be about trauma that needs to go. This could be about love coming in. Right? We will see what it will be for this month when we get there. And then lastly, we will look at the opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of January 2022. Now remember, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with all of you, but um, since I don't believe in coincidence, I always find that people who actually find that video, um, there's a good chance that the messages are indeed for you. Are you ready? Here we go. Let's look at the overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Scorpio. Scorpios, you have positivity and excellence. Look at this. I'm using the uh, Atlantis deck for this reading this month. You got positivity and excellence. This is your overall energy for the month of January 2022 for the star sign of Scorpio. Positivity and excellence. What that really means is that in January 2022, um, as far as the universe is concerned, you can't really fail because excellence, thriving, is on your side. Um, and the energy that preceded the excellence energy is positivity. It really comes down to how you feel. Um, if you manage to get a high energy, a lot of things will fall into place almost automatically by the looks of it, if that makes sense. Because you have excellence right next to positivity, which means what they're asking you to do is to not give in to negative thoughts. And even when, when you feel that people are sort of energetically after you, right, use your pendulum, right, use your spiritual means, like saging and all that kind of stuff, hire the energy wherever it is you live, and especially hire the energy in the places where you have all your thoughts and have high thoughts right things can always get better once you understand that you can manifest better when you feel better so this is all about the correlation between how you feel and how down you are really and how long you let this get to you if that makes sense so this is your task in january 2022 scorpios um, to watch how you react to situations you know are you automatically going into i feel shit about this or are you going like you know what i'm better than this crap and i'm gonna fight it because that's what i'm getting for you but excellence comes right after positivity so whatever comes your way in january 2022 you will certainly master it right because you have excellence as the outgoing energy for the overall energy for the months of January 2022. We're looking at the star sign of Scorpio. Now, let's move on to the area of your emotional core. See what you got. And you have divine essence and creative expression. I show this to you. Divine essence is, uh, is important, and then creative expression. Now, this may be surprising, or maybe not, because the, what comes to mind when it comes to creative expression, which is after divine essence, is for you to understand, to share your knowledge. Share what you have learned in this lifetime. Give some of the advice that you carry inside you to others. Because, Scorpios, 
you have a very loyal side to you. Um, so allow others to tap in to your kindness, right? And meet them um, with kindness. And because you have divine expression, uh, or creative expression rather, it is really important for you to, and this is what I'm getting strongly, so I know this is general reading, might not resonate with all of you, but strongly, and this is what the guys show me actually, in imagery, it really is important to begin writing things down. There's a book in everybody, as the, as the saying goes, and I believe in uh, January 2022, you Scorpios are actually asked to take that seriously and start writing about things you know about, and then the universe will find a way for you to actually um, put this into a place where people can understand it if that makes sense. So maybe you're the person that, 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 that writes a few notes and give a talk about whatever field you are um, thriving at, if that makes sense, and help others do the same. But what I'm getting is, to, it's also, therefore it's important to not hold stuff in that doesn't work there because you have the divine essence. And as you can see here in that imagery, one lady is holding her heart chakra, the other lady is is, is open to receive, right? And so um, really, really important is to express your love and and allow for more things to happen um, in your emotional uh, core. Um, and the way this is happening for you, Scorpios, is by writing, by creating yourself, express, uh, by, by expressing yourself creatively. It doesn't necessarily have to be just writing. It's just that you literally showed me books. So you start writing and it will eventually be turned into a book. But it could also mean that you're good at drawing or maybe you're very good at writing songs and recording them. Uh, but this would be um, the important this month for you to realize, well, I have all these, you know, these art pieces and nobody gets to see them. So you share your essence with others. And that's how you will also be fulfilled with regards to what you feel emotionally, if that makes sense. Because what's happening here for um, Scorpios in your emotional core is that you're waiting for some fulfillment. As you can see here in your Divine Essence card, there's actually a third person here. See this here? There's a lady standing there. And there's a little lamb right next to her. Right? So guidance is coming. Help is coming. Might actually be another person um, that is coming uh, to you, if that makes sense. Um, but don't send them away, <laughs> right? And so the way you attract these emotional helpers, if that makes sense, and, and the, the, the more intimate um, partnership, if that makes sense, is by really expressing who you truly are. And because they showed me uh, someone, you know, writing and, 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 and actually giving a talk about this, um, maybe this goes even further. Maybe you attract what your soul graves especially with regards to new beginnings in love, if that makes sense, by being a bit outside your comfort zone, right? Because when you show your vulnerability, that's very appealing, right? So that's what I'm getting for your emotional core um, for the month of January 2022. For the star sign of Scorpio, you are watching Energy and Star Sign readings. Now let's move on to um, the final part of the reading, which is opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of January 2022. Right. So you have blessings and the great crystal. Blessings and the great crystal. You know, with regards to opportunities and how they present themselves, the guides are saying to you, you're already blessed. And what you need to do, because you have the big crystal is to understand that um, knowledge and wisdom and new ideas are in the ether. They're just out there. What they're asking you is to tap in to that cosmic energy to get new ideas. So when you look at opportunities, um, sometimes people just wait 
and say, like, well, maybe that's what I should be doing. Maybe that's what I should be doing. You have free will. Nobody will ever tell you what you should be doing or what you are supposed to do because it would be overriding your free will. Does not work that way. They're asking you to pay attention. They're also asking you, because you have the, 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 the gray crystal, um, to literally say to your guides, right? Hence the word guides. I need guidance. Guide me. Show me. Help me. And help will come. But because you have the great crystal as your outgoing energy for your uh, opportunities, they're asking you to literally um, communicate um, from your spiritual core to your spiritual core and to the spiritual energy that is in the universe, right? So use your true spiritual essence, con connect to your true spiritual core. If that makes sense, right? This can be done with loads of things. You could be using crystals, you could be doing the tarot, you could use um, sounds, you can use your pendulum, whatever comes to you. But you have to understand, unless you hire the energy and ask the universe, there's so much out there, right? And I feel a bit overwhelmed. Help me narrow it down. And they will help you because you're asking for what is called divine guidance, and it's not religious at all, right? But you're asking for your higher guides, if that makes sense, higher guidance, um, and for your higher self to receive um, advice on how to go about your life. So ultimately, cut a long story short for Scorpio, what became quite prominent in this reading is that a lot of that stuff has to really do with how much you understand that you are a spiritual being, really, really important, and how much you understand that you can tweak your energy yourself. Don't be bugged down by, by things that aren't working, right? Literally, you know, fight it, right? You don't have to sit there and feel miserable, right? There are other ways of dealing with things. That's what they're saying to you, right? Scorpios, thank you so much for watching. See you all next month. Bye-bye.